Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Stock channel on YouTube. We have an interesting uh, integration to do here. Now, in order to do this one, there's an existing uh, well-known formula here. So all we have to do really is just plug in the formula. Uh, this clip is really to show how to get this equation derived in the future. But for, for the purpose of there, just to give answer for now, so this one is really equal to um, x over 2, let's see, a is 64 minus x squared plus uh, 64 divided by 2 arc sine of uh, x over 8. Okay, so here's the answer. And of course, if you want to evaluate it from 1 to 7, that's what's given. Okay. So um, this is a pretty easy. Once you plug it in there, the problem is done. But let's take a look at how do we prove a form of dx1 minus x squared. Okay. Now, our original formula here has constant a here. But um, a squared minus u squared, you can really make it this one, a equal to 1 minus uh, u is the variable over a, the whole thing squared. So using a substitution over there, you can call this x. So really come down to 1 minus x squared. What is this equal to? Okay. Whenever we have a squared minus b squared with a radical form, or even a squared minus b squared form, this is a good uh, trig substitution. Okay, so we're actually going to use substitution over here. So the first thing you're going to run into right away is, here's the theta. Of course, we want the, the hypotenuse to be 1 because we want to use sine and cosine. Hypotenuse 1 make it a lot easier. So first question you're going to run into it, do I put an x in there or do I put an x over here? Okay, theta 1. This is 1 minus x squared. This is y minus x squared. Okay, so the question is which one do I use? Well, let's take a look at it. For this one, you have cosine of theta equal to x. Okay, and then I have a sine theta is equal to radical y minus x squared. This one I can substitute. And then the thing that I really want to find out is dx. Okay, dx is equal to minus sine theta d theta. Okay, it's, it's fine and dandy in that but the only thing is I have a negative sign here. It's not as clean. Okay, so let's take a look at what happens on this side. Call theta theta equal to x. And then I have a sine theta is equal to radical. I had it the other way around. This is actually 1 minus x squared. Okay, sine theta is actually equal to x. Okay, and then the cosine theta d theta gives me a nice dx. Okay, this one is much cleaner because I don't have to, have to deal with minus sign and it's a cosine squared. So let's actually use that one. So the original one, let's use trick substitution. And what we have is that dx is equal to cosine theta d theta. Okay. And then this one is my cosine theta. Okay, everything looks pretty nice from here. Let's go on with it. So it's d theta cosine square of theta. Now notice that cosine 2 theta is equal to 2 cosine square theta minus 1. Okay. So we're going to solve for cosine theta here. Squared is equal to cosine of 2 theta. I'm going to plus 1 divided by 2. So I'm going to substitute 2 to this one back in there. So I have a half. Let's see, we'll have d theta. The first term is cosine of 2 theta. Okay. And then second term I have is d theta. Half is outside. Okay. All right, let's go on from here. So this is a half. I'm going to do a little trick over here. I'm going to do a d 2 theta. And I'm going to divide it by 2. And I have cosine of 2 theta here. Okay, the reason I'm doing is I'm matching the variable here. You could have very well just substitute another variable called x or u equal to 2 theta. You have the same thing. And this one is just the theta. Okay. 
So I have a half. Uh, integration of this one becomes half of sine of 2 theta. i got to keep my half out here. Okay. The reason I had to put a he here a 2 is 2 and 2 cancels. I have my d theta here. Okay. The reason I put a 2 theta in, in, the, in there, I'm just trying to match the variable here. And then plus uh, half of theta. So almost there. This one equal to half, half times twice of sine theta, cosine theta, plus half of theta. Two and two cancels, so I have a half sine theta. Now remember way back there when we did the substitution, we had, this is x, this is theta, 1 minus x squared, this is 1. So sine of theta is equal to radical, um, this is cosine. Cosine theta is 1 minus x squared, sine theta is equal to x. So let's put it back in there. Sine theta is x, cosine theta is 1 minus x squared, plus half of theta, which is theta, sine, arc sine of x. All right, so this is our final answer. Thus proves the original formula. This is e equal to integration of integral of y minus x squared. Okay, it's a pretty famous integral. So it's a good thing to know how to prove it. All right, hope this helped. Have a confident day.